Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are in the shed again. Um, as you can see, I'm fresh from work. Um, that's why this and, and, and glasses, you probably see me in glasses. I, I have to wear glasses to see stuff. <laughs> not close up, not close up, but far away stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, I know what you're thinking though. I do, I do know what you're thinking. It's Clark Kent. Superman, that's what you're thinking. I know, I know. It's all good, it's all good. Back to Clark Kent though, for the moment, since I've got them on, because if I put them down, I'll put something on them, and I'll probably scratch them, and then I'll get in trouble with my wife. Yeah, not good. Um, anyway, here we go. Um, this is part four. So I'm calling the last video of the 261 part three, because we did our seals bit, so that's sort of a part two. Um, and so this is part four, and we're going to do tank, carb, um, what else we got here, tank, carb, uh, all the bits for that, the wiring loom, uh, so the uh, ignition and everything, and the bits and pieces that surround that. Okay, so it's just going to be a quick video, I'm going to try and keep it about 20 minutes, so um, yeah, let's do it, let's get into it. So here's our saw as we left it last time. Uh, what do we need to do? I'm going to start first with the tank. Okay, so here's one I prepared earlier. For this, we will flip it upside down. Like so, actually I'll flip it, I'll flip it this way so you guys can sort of, sort of see it there. Um, we've got the um, fuel line sticking out there. And the other bit is the uh, choke lever that goes on there. Sorry, not choke lever, the throttle lever. Ooh, throttle lever. Okay. And that sort of, you have to, um, see if I can get this bit closer. Right, so this bit here sort of has to flip around that, like that. And it's sort of got a... That's what this gap is for in here, that gap there. So it can it can just bend around in that hole and slot in, and then you just turn it around, okay? Otherwise it can be quite get, difficult to get into, into there. Um, and then there's an AV mount on this side, you just sort of push down the AV mount, and it sort of slots into there, and it sort of sits in there, wiggles into there. Now what, Chuck it up here, and um, you can see that that AV mount's poking up through the hole. So we just grab a screw for that. And it's just a little one, a little, still t T27, but not as fat. And that just goes into there. I mean, you'll only have so many screws, you'll be able to figure it out if you've pulled one of these apart anyway. Uh, yeah. So pretty easy, pretty easy. On that goes. And just gentle with that one because it's a little screw and you'll just you'll just snap it. So that that sits there now. Swing around to here, you'll see um, just in here, there's a rather large hole, and that's where this sits. That's the AV mount that goes into there. So you just push that in, fairly easy. Just feed that into there, and that rocks into there. Now the rest of it, there's an AV mount that comes off the handle, so when the handle gets screwed onto here, I'm not gonna do that today, but the handle gets screwed onto here, there's an AV mount that goes onto the top of, onto the top of the engine here, across to the handle, and that holds the rest of it on. When you finish that, just in, um, just in here, the throttle sits down into that um, there and holds like that so it'll flip up and, and work the throttle on the car. Okay, next thing we are going to do is we're going to put in the wiring loom and uh, for that you need a business card um, to, um, to do that with. And 
there's two screws like this and they have a washer on them so those are the ones you're using for this and here's the wiring loom with the ignition module uh, this harness runs up to the um, the starter um, so the on off switch basically and this runs across to the solenoid on the carb um, that is the earth that goes onto onto there for the ignition module so <coughs> there's a few there's a few channels that run I'll just flip it forward a bit there's the, so there's channels that run down here these channels run up there that all those little wires fit into there first actually I could probably I could probably do it like this so we'll just go to um, which way round are you this way so it'll all fit into there like that okay don't worry about your business card yet that comes when we're putting it together I might just put a screw in it so it doesn't fall out though and we'll secure it down that um, Secure down that earth wire just a little bit. Mm, right, earth wire's down. Okay, so pull that out of the way. Pull this out of the way where it goes up to the spark plug. Um, and run these wires down first. All right, and that plugs up, this hole goes in there. So those go in there. It's like you're getting that earth wire around the corner. And then pushes up in to there. Sorry, I get my fingers out of the way soon. So you can see that it pushes up into there, and then those wires are around in here now where they should be. These wires then all push down a little slot here this wire goes back into there like that these wires all pushed in I just um, see a screwdriver and push them in gently so they sit down in there and these wires run up here like that go down there and all those push into there and the ignition, sorry, the spark plug wire goes into there and holds them all in. So that's basically how that happens. All right, and then, um, so you've got your other screw that goes in, runs into here. Okay, so that's sitting down to there. Then you need your business card. Slot that into there, in between. And then the flywheel comes around onto the magneto there. So that magnetizes onto there and holds it all in nice and tight now. Make sure you push that, push that in, hold it in, and um, screw that down. That business card gives you the correct spacing for um, the spark to travel across from the flywheel up into the ignition module and run the engine. Be very careful with these screws, they're just little and they'll break. Right, once that's seated, you can pull that out and you've got your correct distance running across for your magneto. Too easy. Flip this up now. The next piece of the puzzle we're going to put in is the um, bit that separates the carb from the engine. And that just fits in behind here. These two these two little tabs, so it's got a tab here, a tab here, one fits in just, just under here and there's a similar hole on the other side there that you probably can't see. Just make sure that those tabs are 
down in those places that's why you put the spark plug wires up in first because they all um, and all the wires in first because they all sit inside of this and run up to the spark plug from there and across to the carb for the Mtronic solenoid so that goes in there like that and got a little tiny screw here that um, goes down into this hole here Do -do -do. really good to be back building really good I haven't done this in a while just built anyway I'll carry on turn that so it focuses in down there make sure you pull that black wire out so it's got plenty of there so that's orientated in there and right now your wire from here will come up and it slots into the, these little little grooves on the carb here and into there like that so it can sit across the top of the carb and it will connect onto this part on the carb here across the top all right too easy too easy so that's um that's basically that now you can now you can fit your carb in um, and um so this is where the fuel comes into the carb from there so that's just going to go down into here and slide in it all just slides in really really well really really easily and um, away you go well, that's done push the carb onto there and then you can connect up these bits they just click together yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, that's all in there now. So easy. There is somewhere that that can sit down. Maybe it's on other piece, which is um, oh, there's one more piece I forgot to put down on the other side there. We'll just flip around and do that before we go further with the carb. Um, there's this piece here and that uh, sh shoots the um, air up from the flywheel and, and is part of the cooling system okay I think I'm going to say a dirty word here but I think Husky came up with this sort of design first there's a bit of copying between Still and Husky for for stuff, um, for sure, not denying that. So that goes onto there, and we can come back around to this carb area. This is the, the next piece that's going to go on and um, sit against the carb there. So um, and uh, all the wires will come up into this as well. You can connect those wires up after this black one. This black one though will pop up and through here. Okay. And we'll just seat this carb down in here. Like that. Oh, that's where that goes up into. Actually fits across in there. Think. Um, I think it fits across in there. Yeah, it looks like it does actually. So maybe I got it wrong with those wires where they were being held um, previously. So that actually goes, sorry, that actually fits up into here. And that's the secure position for it. And then that holds that in there. So those are the things that I showed you before. I don't know what they're for. They might be for like the carb heating system or something like that. And that just holds onto there like that. Um, that goes into there. Um, there's the earth wire 
it's hard to see, but that goes onto a, a bit of a pin at the back here. Sorry, it goes down there. It's actually really hard to get it on. So that going in, up into the sorry, trying to, trying to get this this earth wire to connect up into this tab here, and it's um, really in a difficult position. Easy to pull off, that's for sure. Definitely goes like that. Mucking around. Oh my. That is hard to get on there. It's like two very, very different. Um, positions for this thing. Man, I might have to try and put everything on and then reach in and, and get that. Right. So I'll just leave that solenoid off for the moment. Um, push that into there. Make sure that wire goes up into there. It's got these two little rubbery tab things, which I really don't like the design of. They, I, I see why they did it. It's sort of easy. Sorry, I got my hands way in the way. I'm trying to push the whole thing onto these tabs here, or into these tabs. Right. And then that goes onto there like that. Carb, put that in that one. Yep. Right. Oh yeah, that's lined that up a bit more. So maybe I was trying to do it the wrong way there. I'm gonna try and push this down into there now. Hmm. Hmm, that's just about lining up. Clip wants to sit one way, and the uh, might actually push this up through, pull it up through here. Yeah. Sorry, guys, this is one of those things that is fiddly because I haven't done it in a while. I can't remember how to do it. Right, so I'll pull that up through there. Now, and that might be easier than what I was trying to do. Yeah, it is. Because it aligns it the proper way. sides there and I bet the technicians the still technicians can do this quick as they've probably got little tiny hands as well which would help little tiny hands would help a lot for getting this earth wire on 
There it goes. We'll say yay now, yay. Mm. Get in there. There we go. There we go. That's all popped on. Cool. So that goes in there. This wire will go up around here. Pushes into there. That connects up into there. Yep, that's gone into there. So that's all sitting there right now. Um, there is also the throttle lever to go on as well. This goes on to here like that. Okay. Um, oh, and it's not sitting in there right. <coughs> Of course, the, car, the throttle lever for the carbs not. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sorry, throttle lever just sits down like that. And sorry, I don't know what I was thinking there. Thought I had to hook up and around it, but it didn't. All right, this gets two two eight mil nuts on it. Get secure all this end of the carb down. In there. Make sure they're nice and snug in there. So you get a nice tight seal onto um, that um, onto that card. Got this other carp here. I'm just, I'm just wondering if it had that bit in there. That goes up, and that would be in the way as it was down. Let's fit that. I think this bit goes in here. I think I missed a bit. Not 100%, so I'm just going to take it off and see. I think I missed this bit. That's the only bit I missed, I think. Could it be something, eh? Can't do it perfectly. <clears throat> I'm 
show you what I think I missed in a second. Those can stay in there. So I think, so that bit all folds up, right? So I think that goes like that. And there. Sits, maybe sits behind there, it's all the way off again. I'm not 100%, I'm just, I'm actually just trialling this to see if I'm right, if I have forgotten a bit. to go on that other card. It's the same card. Sorry, I forgot to put the ear on. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't go on there. So that's all. Doesn't fit in there, so that just all fits on there like that, and that's the end of it. Yep, that back in there, connect up that. These go back onto here. Not that one. Where's my, where's my other one gone? Oh, there. Sorry about that. Just had a funny feeling I've missed something and maybe I have, I'll check it, I'll check it on a parts trigram tonight to make sure I've got everything. And if there's any corrections to be made, I'll come back and, um, and tell you guys. Always try to be transparent, eh? Make sure you guys are getting the correct information. Don't always get it right, but hey, oh, you know, oh, yeah, you are. It's going down now. So you can see those just going down into there. Man, they're good. Nice and tight on there. Right, a couple more things. Um, we've got a choke, uh, choke lever to go on. Um, this, this black wire here uh, threads its way up and through there like that and then hooks around onto there like that and then that just clicks down into this just lift that spring up out of the way so you can get it down into there that'll fit up inside there or it should yes yep that's all situated right you can see it flicking on and off like the Mtronics do and then last but not least, we've got a choke lever, which is somewhere. Just 
just a small choke lever and um, I think it just sits in like this, like that way, into there. So you just hook it through the choke on that side. And just sit down and, and just um, mount down into there. A little, little slot for it on the back of this track lever mechanism. All right. And then you've got the whole choke working. Or should work anyway. Um, so that's off. And then you move it up. One. Is that not working? Oh no, it's, it's, no it's, it's, that's right, because it's only at Zen Primark. I forgot it hasn't got three three phases to it, so it's only got the one position down for start, and then it's run, and then off, which flips back. Keep on forgetting anything about the Mtronics, especially when I can't see the pitches. And then, of course, the spark plug connects up onto there. All right, bit of fiddling around there at the end, but we got there. So you saw everything about how to do the ignition. Um, module, run the wires up, run the wiring loom up into here, and get that seated into there, and um, yeah, that's the whole back, the carb done. Next time we'll move on to something else. Thanks, um, video's run a bit longer than what I wanted, but hey, a bit of fiddling around, all good. Thanks for watching, so enjoy this part four. Fast forward to the bits you, you need to know about. Um, and I'll answer questions if you need. If you watched about two or three of my videos now, maybe think about hitting the subscribe button. And um, we'll see you on the next one, on part part five of the 261, where we um, will carry on with the rest of the build, whether we put the starter covers on or we go play over here and put the handle on and things like that to uh, secure the rest of the tank on, because that's not sitting there much, by much at the moment. Um, or we can go put the muffler on. There's all sorts we can still do on this build to um, bring it to that stage where we can um, pull it over, put the bar on it, pull it over, start it. So thanks for watching. Still for life, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.